While luck may have a role in business successes, uh, Maureen is one of the few people I know who would probably put a section titled luck in the business plan. I walked into the room and I saw this very sort of striking, charismatic woman who was standing on top of this desk. She had the entire agency crowded around her and she was sort of like in these like knee high boots and she had her like hand in the air and she was giving this very rousing speech. She looked completely insane. And I thought, oh my God, who is this? What is happening in this place? It turns out that was Maureen Regan. She was hell bent on getting the job and she wasn't going to let me out of the office without hiring her. It should have been a clue what I was going to be dealing with the next 15 years. About five minutes into the conversation, she says, hey, you ever think about starting your own agency? Seven years later, we started an agency together. I often say it was business at first sight. This woman has incredible chutzpah. She said, I have an incredible opportunity for you. Just let me make an offer, Mary, that you can't refuse. She's fun to be with. And when you get energy and intelligence and leadership, and then you put it together, it's so much fun to be with. Who the hell else do you want to be with? We had an internal slogan in our agency, Regan Campbell Ward, um, balls, brains, and bullshit. And you know what? In an in a industry of all men, she actually brought the biggest balls of them all. Oh my God. Honey, honey, if we don't get to the hotel, we will not have a room tonight and we need to sleep somewhere tonight. So she grabbed us, we ran. She is rifling through her bag, which was always quite full. She whips out, you know, a $50 bill. We ended up getting into that hotel. They said they had no rooms at the time. Uh, she could be late all the time. And so the plane said, we got to go. So we board it. We're taxiing down the runway and a car comes down the runway stops the airplane. Maureen gets out, holding a big dozen donuts, waving at the plane. She stops it on the taxi. They let her on. And it's the only woman I've ever known that could stop a plane on an active runway. There was a point at which Maureen, she sort of passed behind me and she leaned down and whispered in my ear. She said, honey, I'm going in. She literally walked over to the pool and jumped into the pool in the middle of this very fancy restaurant. That was a, a, a night when your partner jumps into the pool at the Four Seasons. What's your moral imperative? Are you supposed to jump into? So we all did. The maitre d' came over to our table. He said, do you know how many people have done that in our restaurant? And we were like, no. We thought we were going to get in trouble. And the man said, three. Marilyn Monroe, Sophia Loren, and now your boss. But both Raj and Dan, our hosts, had just picked up these beautiful new suits, and they didn't want to ruin their suits, but they wanted to get in the pool. So that picture has all the attendees, with the exception of myself, but Raj and Dan are in standing in the pool with their champagne glasses up in their boxers. <laughs> it was epic. <laughs> St. Anthony could usually count on receiving a spiff from Maureen whenever we want to pitch. Okay, she said, you got to get them to pray for us in our new business. I says, that's like bribing nuns. And he said, don't worry, they'll they'll do it. They'll do it. We were giving them eight, ten thousand dollars $10,000 a pop, and we were winning. And so before a new presentation would come up, come into my office and said, you send the check. Did you send the check? I'm not really sure what the patron saint of lost things had to do with new business pitches, but who am I to mess with success? If she believed so much in her people and herself that they were so good and such the best, they should be paid the best. Creating RCW was an enormous accomplishment. We went from nothing to probably 200 people in two offices. We had 270 people. <laughs> Makes a big difference between 200. And then that was full-time equivalents. We always had like at least 30 freelancers. So anyway, I'm the business person. <laughs> I keep this picture of Maureen on my desk. And this is not a joke. She is the single 
most important force in my entire career. I owe my entire career to Maureen Regan. She she is an incredible leader and mentor and has become such a guiding coach for me. She felt the importance of making something bigger than herself. Who'd have thunk that a nurse who was probably destined to, to marry a, a cop and live on Long Island would end up getting this award? Frankly, I don't know where I would be if I hadn't met Maureen Regan. And these two guys are the brothers I never had. So anyway, I love them both. So, But it was nice to hear him say something nice about me the first time in 34 years. So I was very impressed. Congratulations, Mo. You are the best. You totally deserve it. I'm very proud to know you. Honey, you did it. You did it, honey. Congratulations. We would like to share more stories, but if your mother's watching, we really can't share all the stories with her. You were destined for the Medical Advertising Hall of Fame. I'm glad they finally caught up with you. Congratulations, Maureen. This is an award that is truly well-deserved. You are so incredibly deserving of this award. In you, I see a compassionate leader, and I will always aspire to be like you. Congratulations for sure, but it was never in question in my mind. And deep down, I love you. I'm looking at this footage and people are talking about me and I said, I look like a, a, a cross between Jonah Ark and a total crazy person. <laughs> But it was a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs>